and welcome to the uh, to our weekly edge class exercise. This week we're gonna work on forward outside three turns. A forward outside three turn is a turn that goes from a forward outside edge into a backward inside edge. The blade does a 180 degree angle turn and then it ends up on a backward outside edge. So now think about shoulders and hips while I'm placing my feet to push in on my outside edge. So the shoulders is gonna face the direction I'm going and it's gonna, they're gonna face the circle I'm gonna skate on. Don't exaggerate though, keep them a little bit more neutral because then there is something that you're gonna do right before the three turn that it's gonna matter. So um, I place my outside arm, the opposite arm of the skating leg slightly in front, same, still, don't exaggerate, slightly in front. Then I do the knee bend and I take a push. I'm on a forward outside edge. Now I rise up and in the meanwhile I'm doing that, I'm gonna increase my rotation, I'm gonna increase my twist. I'm gonna rotate the shoulder a little bit more and then I'm gonna turn the hips. And that's my three chain. At the end, I'm gonna check my three chain by keeping the shoulders and hips facing the circle I'm skating on. So it means that if the shoulder or hips is swinging in front, I'm not gonna be able to check the three chain. So now, what to do uh, before the three chain, right before. So we are on a deep knee bend now uh, at the beginning. As I rise up, it means that at the same time I'm rising up, I'm gonna engage my back muscles here, especially the shoulder blades of the shoulder blade of the skating leg. So imagine you're gonna pull the shoulder blade back behind, and then here I'm ready to twist to turn my hips. And then I'm gonna check the three turn by engaging the other shoulder blades. So the shoulder blades of the free leg, I'm gonna pull back. That allows my shoulder to stay in place and not to swing in front. Because as the shoulder is swinging in front, remember, you're not gonna be able to check the three chain anymore. So, outside edge, bend, push, rise up. At the same time I'm rising up and my free leg, it's coming close to the other leg, so really close, touch the skating leg with your free leg and the hip of the free leg pulls up, so you're not dragging your free leg like that. So down, up, increase at the same time. I'm showing you in separate tempos, but it is done at the same time, very important. From down to up and then twist, turn your hips, check the position, Pull the stomach in and pull the shoulder blade behind. And that's your three turn. So something to remember is that there is a lot of engagement of your back muscles as, as uh, uh, together with your core muscles. Everything has to work at once. And another thing to remember, the coordination is very important. It's really awkward when you try to attempt your three turn going up first, rise up first, and then trying to work through your arms to do the three turn. It has to be done at once. So from your knee bend, up and turn. So very important, and that's something that you can definitely work very well on the floor. Your timing and your coordination from when you are down on your knee to up and twist. So it's very important. You can also, you can do only the first half of the three chair just by doing this, outside edge, and then rise up and bring your shoulders a little bit more around like this. It's not much. It's like maybe one inch of a movement, but it has to be done and it has to be done clearly. So down here, up and increase, and really feel your muscles that are on your shoulder blades. Yeah, those have to really work hard to pull 
your shoulder blade behind the first one and then the second one right away so as soon as your three chin is done so remember the three chin is done by turning your hips not turning your arms very important so as soon as you're here and everything is correct just turn your hips and that's done and then right away your other shoulder blades has to work hard to check the shoulder and the hip and that's done pay attention on your free leg too i like to keep the free leg on a t position so it's a slide in the back and the hip really keep it up make sure you're working you're like really pulling up your free leg hip because that will bring your weight straight down where you need it uh, when you are on the ice really think about where the weight goes on the blade and um, and you can play on the floor a little bit so the weight when you start when you push on the outside edge I would say the weight is like on the outside of your foot and towards the heel then as you rise up you shift your weight forward on the ball of your foot and that's exactly where the turn is gonna happen so the turn is gonna happen on the ball of your foot and then you're gonna place your weight not towards the heel as much as the first um, outside edge but something in between between the ball of your foot and the heel a little bit like that so it's not gonna be all the way towards the back but it's not gonna be on the topic too so really make sure that you go from the heel here rise up ball of your foot turn and then kind of neutral on your blade but still on a backward inside edge and that's okay let's move now into the choreography for today this is gonna be your easier choreography we're gonna do waltz threes it means that we're gonna do consecutive forward outside um, three turns we start here bend we push into our three turn three turn check push into a backward outside edge rise up turn the shoulders and repeat two three so three times and then forward outside swing roll change leg one so three times on the other leg two three forward outside swing roll now with the arms remember the some concepts you can do any arm as long as the shoulders are in the correct spot so right now we're gonna work and rise up the same arm as the skating leg at the beginning don't get confused and don't do three chains like this <laughs> really remember keep the shoulders facing the direction you're skating on and then increase towards the center of the, the circle you're skating on before the three turn so same arm as same leg rise up three turn arms go down almost touching here and then again repeat same arm boom same arm down now swing roll opposite arm up now i'm gonna change leg and change arm again change i'm gonna push into the other leg so three turn on the other leg two three forward outside swing roll change again one two three swing roll and then repeat on the other leg two times so we're gonna do two times on the right two times on the left so right right left right left uh, and that's the choreography for today we're gonna do it in a waltz rhythm because it suits very well with the three chants
into the more advanced choreography. This time, instead of using wolf trees, we're gonna use four outside tree churn with a leg behind at the end. We call it also Bauer threes. So we start um, with the leg, same arm, so the arms goes up. So we're gonna push and then check. The leg stays up and it extends behind the hip. And now we're gonna go into a next, another outside three chain. And then, so we're gonna do two outside three chains with the leg to the back, two bower threes. And then we're gonna push into a back outside edge. This time we're gonna do a twizzle, yeah? So we're gonna do a backward outside twizzle that goes one and a half. And then we're gonna push again into the other leg, three chain on the other leg. So it's gonna look like this. So one, two, push, rise up. One, two, other leg. Backward, outside three, um, twizzle. Then we're gonna do a sha, se, and inside three turn. Forward, inside three turn. That we're gonna explain in another lesson, but for the advanced choreography, we're gonna add it. So we finish, so we did one, three turn, two, three turn, push, twizzle, repeat on the other leg, two, push, twizzle, sha, se, inside, three turn. Then we're gonna start over, and we're gonna start over with the other leg. So if we start it right in front, after the inside three channel, we're gonna start again, we're gonna do the left in front. And then we're gonna do left, right, push, twizzle, right, left, push, twizzle, chasse, inside, three chair, rise up. And then the end, it's up to you. I did a little twizzle after the last inside twitch um, three chants on the choreography with the music but you can play around you can do whatever you want so the last bit it's up to you and then you can finish with a nice t-stop tango stop whatever fits you okay that's all for today now let's watch the choreography with the music and then we're gonna go into the conditioning exercise for today exercise for today and uh, it's gonna be something that's gonna make your three chair a little bit more solid so we're gonna start on um, a basic stroking position so everything parallel towards the wall in front of you then from here you're gonna go into a T position with your free leg so so the free leg goes in close 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 attached to this to the standing leg in a T position here. So turn it out a little and then place it boom to the, to the standing leg. While we're doing that, don't worry about the knee bend, stay upright. While we're doing that, we're gonna twist the upper body. So we're gonna go from here to here and hold it a few seconds and then bring it back to here. So that's the exercise. Make sure the weight it's on the front of your foot and from on the outside of your standing foot. So from here, twist, bring the leg in, same time. And again, twist, bring the leg in. We're gonna do 10 of each leg. And then you can go again. Make sure the balance is on the outside of the standing leg and make sure the leg is nice and extended, your free leg. 
So 10. And then switch and do 10 on the other leg. I'm gonna show you slightly to the side so you can see what the free leg is doing. So from here, here, and there. Always think about the shoulders moving, your old torso moving, and not only the arms. So make sure you're not just doing this. Mm -hmm. So straight back and twist. Straight back and twist. Twist as far as you can get. Twist, 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 twist. Even if it's not gonna be this much when you do a three chain. But you really wanna engage your core and, and your back muscles. So then when you're on the ice, you're not gonna need so much, but your, your muscles are gonna be ready to do that. So twist, twist, twist. So don't, don't worry about how far you twist. You can twist as much as you can go. It's only an exercise, a conditioning exercise. And then 10 on this leg too. Once you're done, we're gonna do something else. And you can hold on something to do this one if you want. It's not about the balance, it's about strengthening your muscles here so that it's gonna be able to lift the hip of the free leg. So you're gonna place your leg in a T position. The free leg, try to keep it up all the time, like the same for the exercise before. Try not to touch the floor with your free leg at all. And so we're gonna be here and you're gonna go down and up with your hip. So it's only your hip here. Lift and release. Lift and release. Lift and release. It's a very tiny movement. Don't expect to do a huge movement. It's a very little one. And you're gonna do 10 or 20 of this. So make sure the core is working. So you're not in an arch. Actually, you wanna feel that your weight is more forward than back. And then lift and release. Never touch the floor, so lift, release, lift, release. 10 times of this, and then you can relax. And every time you finish with those exercises, uh, decompress the lower back, so make sure you're gonna, you can do the cat exercise, you can like run your back, you can do this. To release the tension on your lower back because there is gonna be some tension over there so make sure you release the tension too every time you do that okay we're done for today and I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next week